Crown's probably just chuckling in a sea like you're not anywhere near as good as me. Poppy is going to be the last pick, so add on the Poppy. Yep. We're, we're almost halfway through our three-week summer. Hold that thought. Ian taking a ton of damage. They might force a flash out of him. There it is. Beyond also taking a lot of damage, even attempting to fight back. But KT definitely can come in here as a team and steal some of this jungle away. Really, you know, no kills yet, but still a thousand gold ahead. And some action now. They have the flash out of Mata at the expense of Max's exhaust. If that keeps up, it's going to be disastrous when the roams start coming out from Daft as Maha's going to oh. be completely gutted. The flash coming on in here onto Ian. Smeb eating a ton of damage. They're trying to get that kill. That will be first blood given over to Beyond. Smeb going a little bit too far there, ulting under turret, and will pay for it with his life. And that's a really big save right now as it takes off all the pressure up in top lane onto Ed. Beyond hanging around this bot turret because it is getting extremely low. You can see a lot of focus here as KT is really trying to break this down. There's the arrow. Going to lock up Maha, but that's not enough. Curtain Call comes out. Trying to lock him down the Miss Cocoon, actually, onto Max. A bit of burst damage, though, and actually that's enough to take out Max. Now Maha getting pretty low. Is Score going to actually go into that one? Just barely misses that deadly flourish. I can only imagine that the support item for Mata must also have been generating so much more gold than Max. So everything is lining up for KT. Oh, well, the flash here onto Pawn and just huge amounts of burst damage, but the follow up here from Mata, who gets knocked out of the way. A lot of members of MVP, though, very, very low. Deft alone, though, he can't go one before. Mata forced to flash the wall on the left side, and actually MVP picks up the Infernal Drake off the back of that fight. Well, that's the caster curse, Brendan. And so someone is going to eventually have to break the stalemate that's going on right now. Oh, that flash. Yeah, Pawn with the follow-up probably could have been able to burst him down with the help of Deft. So, required to get away there. Max was in the wings, but oh, look at this. He's going to get the cocoon on to Ed. And there that is going to lock him up, but with Mata here as well, that's going to be enough damage to take down Ed in the top lane. Meanwhile, Ian down in bot lane attempting to make a, take another turret. If they want to take a fight here. Beyond is going to be locked up despite using that flash. Score coming on in. He's trying to do that collateral damage. Lock up here by Max onto Deft. It's not enough damage. There's a curtain call. They want to take him out. It just won't be enough. And here comes Score. That's going to be a couple of, or just actually just one kill on to Beyond. Very low members of Max, uh, of MVP rather, on the run. Only, it looks like Smeb down near mid with Ed following up. Oh, the arrow's going to hit Ian here. No follow up cocoon though, as Ian is forced to flash to safety. Looking to potentially go pretty late with the double infernal. And oh, another flash here from Beyond as the Crystal Arrow goes wide. We're taking a look that Smeb with the Finnish Trinity Force is having a much easier time fighting against Ed. It's still pretty even though, and the knock up into Deadly Flourish as Maha comes down to help out and jumping onto Maha. Smeb wants to get away, but there's the crit. And now Deft in the mid lane is gonna be locked up here. It looks like MVP really wanna take this one. Another kill goes on to Deft. And these are two really key kills because with Deft off the map, that's one of the main carries that they have right now and also a pretty large percentage of KT's gold. MVP. Oh man, the flash pin and score is gonna eat it here too. What is going on? That is three picks in a row. That, that should be Baron. Mata still has his ultimate though, but no Chaos Storm for Pawn. It's going to be interesting to see if they can actually poke him out here. Shockwave is still available, and you can see Ian is on the case, trying to zone them out. And it's getting pretty low. In comes Smeb. There's the Shockwave, but Smeb is coming on in. They're able to lock up Ian and going to be taken down. That Baron's getting really low. It is going to go, though, over to MVP. And it looks like MVP and the rest of them will get out. Right here, Def in mid lane. He has no mana. Really, was that 2 CS worth it? as Max flashed forward with that nether grass. I think he saw him with the ward too. Looks like just Maha 
is up alone and top and Ed actually is going to be jumped on here, but there's the shockwave immediately. KT, or rather MVP looks to turn this around. The knockup, Keeper's Verdict will lock up the kill. There's the Nether Grass bump to Pawn who gets taken out immediately as well. And KT now on the run, score forced to flash away from Ian's flash. Meanwhile, it looks like everybody else is going to get away, but Deft able to trade one turret. Can't really do anything against that wave clear. You're definitely going to need Baron or Elder Dragon if you want to make your way in. Or Maha has to be at a point where the curtain call is just Ooh. too scary. They're looking for this on the score. There's the burst damage. It's enough. And now Mata taking a lot of damage. The teleport in from Ed. They will commit to it. So it looks like perhaps they want to push down here into the bot lane. Oh, and score. Ooh, Max, he's going to get him again. There's the curtain call. He needs a follow up. Oh, of the some plant. damage. Yeah. Oh. That and plant. That plant. If that plant wasn't there, that would be really bad right now. I would have given MVP the ability to make sure that all the lanes would go dark, keep KT in the fog of war. Deft, why are you in mid again? <laughs> this is happening again. And. Well, he forces the Antenna Crystal Arrow to come out, and he, he forces a recall out of Deft. As they make their way over. Ooh. Okay, they're going to go for this. And I think this was spotted. They're bursting this down. They do have that Mountain Drake. In comes Ed. Are they going to get there in time? It doesn't look like it. That is going to be taken there by score with the smite. Ed going on in. Beyond wants to get that burst damage off the pawn. They take him out, though. Max is going to be locked up and taken down. And in comes Smed, the double kill, able to snipe down Ed surprisingly fast. And here comes the arrow. There it is onto Ian. Going to be caught out. There's the cocoon. Down he does go. Another kill goes over to KT and Deft, who are able to turn this game right on its head right away. Now, the minion wave is there, but unable to come up with that turret as Smeb continues to try to whittle away at top. MVP, they're trying desperately to hang on. If they can hold without giving up turrets, they're still going to be in this game for sure. Oh, huge arrow onto Ian. That's enough damage to take him out. And Smeb, he's really straightened up as well. A couple of really key arrows. Able to catch Ian twice, actually. That should be the inhibitor. Mata taking a bit of damage from Maha. But Beyond. you can see the never-ending push here. He was trying to stop the mid-wave, but KT now, they're just waiting to go there. They're finally here. Gonna raise that turret as well. They're looking for two inhibitors. Top turret, they could just go up to top and maybe try to tap it. I'm not exactly sure what HP that is, but it looks like it's hanging on by a sliver. <laughs> But instead, they choose a super safer play. Look at all of those super minions. And this is forcing both Beyond and Ed to come in here. There's the arrow. Ian is going to eat it again. Max ends up getting locked up. He doesn't go down. Mana actually goes down. Funnily enough, look at Smep. He's going ham here. Maybe too ham. He's going to be locked up against that turret, getting extremely low. There's the knockout with the Keeper's Verdict and the crit there. From the fourth bullet of Maha, will pick up another kill. So KT, you were talking about risk. They take the last inhibitor, but they lose two members of their team. They lose the two members. They get the third inhibitor, so it unlocks the 7v5. Because when you have three inhibitors down, the two super minions per lane is quite difficult to handle. Normally, it takes two members. Oh, no. He wants to fight. Deft is really confident right now. You can see him hanging around in the bushes, waiting for a squishy member to come in. It doesn't even matter that they only have two members. They're going to shred through that Baron. Yeah, Baron's going to go down. MVP will get the Elder Drake. So MVP is saying, OK, we got to we gotta take a 5v5, and we got to wipe them, essentially. Lots of poke coming out. And you can see they're, they're being patient. They're not trying to rush this. They know that they have Baron's wait for the waves to keep arriving. Another arrow hits Ian there. He is going to be able to flash away, but still more and more poke. The super minions in the top lane. There goes down the turret. Are they going to go for the Nexus here? They're going for the fight. Smed's going on in. Ned, super, super low. Will be chunks down by death. Meanwhile, score on the bottom side. They're going to get That's it. The Nexus it. goes down. KT with the 3 victory over MVP tonight. They will be facing Samsung in the next round.